Hey y'all, in today's video, I'm gonna cover some tips on what to look for when you have a flat tire. I get this question a lot. People wanna know how to plug them, how to fix them. Uh, this is not gonna cover every question that I get on flat tires, but what this is gonna do is kinda give you an idea. I'm gonna give you some tips on what to look for. Uh, this is actually a spare tire on one of our trailers and it was flat. We sprayed it down with some soapy water and that's the best way to find your hole. Uh, just take a regular bottle, put some water in there, throw some Dawn in shake it up and then you get the bubbles so whenever you come across the hole it's going to bubble up that is the best way that i've found to find a hole so we couldn't find a hole anywhere on the tire and here it turned out it was the valve stem the valve stem has a slit right here so it's a bad valve stem now what do you do you know besides taking it to the tire shop you know how do you fix it by yourself uh, one of the things we do is we have this tool here this is called a bead buster there are several different versions of this tool this is uh, the one we use to, you know, take tires off the wheels if we uh, have to and we aren't at the shop and we don't have the tire changer. So this is probably one of the easiest uh, tools that I've found to do that. I know there's some other ones out there, but uh, for us, we found that this works the best for us. So the first thing you'll want to do is I'm going to go over with you how to find out where that hole is and what it looks like. All right, so now that we put a little air in it, we're going to squirt this on here. So you see the bubbles coming out right there? You know you got a bad valve stem. So now we're gonna show you how to fix it. First thing we'll do is remove the valve gut. Just take your bead buster and get it down in here. And you'll wanna get it down in between the tire and the wheel. Now depending on the size wheel that you're working with, you may need a bigger impact than this. This is not very big. But this will get the job done. So now we got our tire pushed down in and we got our bad valve stem right here. Just pull it right through. That's your old one. We're going to take our new one. We'll take a little tire lubricant and we'll just spray it on there. Spray it on right here where it's going to come in. Right like that. So there we have it like that. Now we do have a tool that will pull this right up in. I don't have that tool here right now. I know a lot of you guys don't have that tool at home either. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cheat it a little bit and we're gonna put a cap on here. And then we're just gonna take and we're gonna get on that cap and we're gonna pull it and it's gonna pop right up in there. You'll see, don't pull it too hard. Or you'll pull it right through and you'll tear it and separate it. We're gonna just lube up the edges here on the tire so that way the bead will seat. For this part here, you might want to wear some safety glasses. When you're seating the bead on the tire, you want to look and see what the maximum amount of air pressure is when you're seating the bead. A lot of times it'll say 35 PSI or whatever it is, but you don't exceed that whenever you're seating the bead on the tire. Now, you got to be careful because when this thing comes up, it's going to pop. You see it coming up now. That's it right there. There it is. All right. Now what you'll do is just clean it up and you'll go around the tire and then what you'll do when you're done at the end is spray it down you know just make sure you don't have any leaks you can have a leak here in your valve gut you can have a leak at your valve stem if there's dirt there you could have a leak around the rim around the edge the bead of the tire so you just double check everything make sure you don't have any leaks put the recommended air pressure into it and you're ready to go there you go guys hope that helps you out take care have a good one